Welcome back to AZ Off Grid. It is Monday, July 6th, around 2 p.m. I uh, came up yesterday, actually got up here around 3 p.m. Stopped off at a neighbor's, hung out with them for a bit, and got up here around 4.50ish. Um, it's pretty hot, it's uh, about 88 degrees and it's very windy right now. I was looking at the weather forecast and it looks like we're going to start getting some rain in the next couple of weeks. So that will be nice. It's finally about time. Okay, over here looking at the, the uh, ponderosa pine trees. They're looking really good. Um, this one's grown a little bit since I was here, I don't know, two weeks ago. A little bit. But this one over here has grown quite a bit, it seems. Uh, it's really starting to fill out and those uh, top branches have come up another inch or two so it's looking really good I'm going to throw some water on these before I leave uh, tomorrow alright uh, yeah it's, as you can see it's extremely windy here so uh, hopefully you guys can hear me over all this alright we're going to head over to the camp over here and take a look at everything and we'll see what we're going to do while we're here okay so i brought up a couple more vents to put in the doors of the ship container these are a bit larger than the other ones i brought up and installed so these will allow a little more airflow um, as far as the shipping container goes and as far as cooling it when i got here yesterday um, this thing's been closed up for the last two weeks the fan was running it's working great it shut off uh, in the evening as it cooled down um, but the temperature inside when I opened the doors it wasn't nearly as hot as it usually is which is uh, telling me the fan is helping um, it was it was right around 106 degrees in there so it was keeping the temperature from going just outrageously high so that's good uh, the solar was looking good so i'm going to throw those vents in and there's so much pressure through that fan you probably won't see it but <laughs> there was a lot of debris sucked in here uh weeds and stuff uh just from the the pressure from those uh, from that fan back there so obviously putting another vent in will um cut down on the pressure coming in through these two little vents here so it it won't suck as much debris in there and uh it'll also i think it'll help cool this down a little better um so if they'll fit oops sorry dog if they'll fit i'm gonna put them right here one on each side um and then if need be i'll get some more later and put them up at the top I don't know, I guess I could put one here, but I don't think it'll look as good. I don't know. All right, so I get comments from the last video I did. Why don't you paint it a lighter color? Well, when I first brought this up here almost a year ago, I explained in one of those videos that... I paint, had this painted green before it was shipped here and I did that for a reason um, it really blends in with uh, the landscape and it doesn't stick out as much um, so that's why I painted it green guys I, I'm not going to paint it white I'm not going to paint it tan wanted it to kind of blend in here so it's it, it doesn't just catch your eye immediately like my trailer does which I will eventually be covering with a carport and a green roof um, if you look at an aerial picture of my property the first thing that jumps out at you is my travel trailer and my cargo trailer Everything else is kind of blending in. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. 
You know, when you drive in the driveway here to camp, you don't even know that that container is sitting there. You don't even see it until you really look for it. And then it, you know, it's obvious that it's there. But uh, I don't want to paint it a lighter color. It's just not what I'm going for here. And I know darker colors, is uh, they attract more heat. But even if this was white, that thing would still be well over 100 degrees inside during the day when the sun is beating on it because it's metal metal it's a stove it's an oven is what it is so um all right just to be clear that's why it's green that's why i'm putting an exhaust fan in it <laughs> try to knock the heat down now I'm, I'm gonna get this to work um it is working somewhat and i'm gonna get to work better with more venting so all right, um, I really didn't have a whole lot planned on on doing while I was up here. I just wanted to get up here, put a couple of vents in, check on a couple of things. Water, water my, my poor trees here. These aren't looking so hot. They've uh, lost quite a bit of needles and they're, wow, look at that. <laughs> This comes right comes right off I don't know I might have killed these we'll see I'm gonna keep throwing water on them and uh, hopefully they'll come back ay, ay, ay. this feels fine all this up here feels fine so just some of the stuff down here uh, yeah we'll see don't know um, yeah this one did not come back it it is dead. Uh, there's some critter that's been eating on these uh, chestnut trees. I think they'd be doing a lot better if, uh, if it wasn't for that. Blueberry bush is definitely dead. Ponderosa over here is looking pretty good. Um, and uh, the Jeffries are coming back pretty good. Um, interestingly, the uh, peach tree that I thought was dead it is not and in fact it's all coming back all the way up to the top that's pretty cool I thought this was all dead up here <sighs> but I guess not so I'll throw some more water on these today um, I did check this it's still it's still moist down in here it's not like really wet but there is some moisture in there so they're not just completely struggling, but I will throw more water on them here in a little bit. Uh, battery bank's looking good. When I got up here yesterday, uh, like I said, around 4.55 p.m., um, it was in float mode at 13 and a half volts. So I think we, uh, we dodged a bullet on that one for now anyways. Um, definitely be keeping an eye on those two batteries that were lowest on water. I uh, got a new cap for that disgusting thing, so I can take care of that. And that's about it. Um, I do plan on being here. Sorry guys, I don't know if you can hear with the wind blowing. I do plan on being here the first week or week and a half of August. So three or four weeks I'll be up here three weeks be up here for a week a uh, week and a half something like that um, just trying to get some stuff done I've uh, I have ordered four more solar panels so I will probably be adding those to this in August I got four more um, they're 100 watt panels just the little guys um, they are the same brand as two of the panels I have on top of the shipping container I think it's I think it's the rich solar they're pretty cheap they're less than a dollar a watt so and so far they seem to be working pretty good so I figured I'd throw 400 more watts over here just to give me a little extra power 
uh, because I have such a large battery bank. And that way when I'm running stuff during the day, it doesn't really, it doesn't hit the battery bank as hard. And it allow it all to go into float every day while I'm here busy working on stuff. So, all right. Um, we got just a couple sprinkles while I was gone. It wasn't even enough to register on my uh, rain gauge up there. But I know we got sprinkles because I could see it on uh, the shipping container where the uh, dust had beat it up from the raindrops. So that's about it. Um, had a couple, uh, I think we had three javelina come through here about a week ago. They were hanging out right here in the front. And uh, one was definitely the alpha. He was chasing the other two around. So it was pretty pretty cool to watch, but they're only here for about three minutes. And they took off that way. So, all right, I'm going to put you guys down. I'm going to go ahead and throw some paint on those two vents over there, get that going. And then uh, probably start cutting holes in the doors again for some more venting. All right, guys, I'll uh, get back with you guys here in a little bit. Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, July 7th. It's literally just just new. Uh, 15 after. I'm all, I'm all packed up, ready to go. Uh, got everything done I needed to do. Uh, threw some water on the trees. They're looking pretty darn good. Um, yeah, so trees are looking good. Let's take you over here and show you what I did on the shipping container. Okay, as you'll see in the next clip, um, after this one, I had some uh, technical difficulties and I lost a large portion of the video that I was recording over here. So, it's now about a month later. <laughs> uh, it's now August 3rd, uh, around 11, 11 a.m. So, um, this is what it ended up looking like with the two vents at the top. I couldn't fit them here it's just a little too big uh working pretty good i have since uh the trip in july uh, now that this is august i have since uh purchased two more of these smaller vents down here and i'm gonna put them right here one on each side uh it's working pretty good with just the four vents but i figure i'll put two more in just to give it a little extra uh capacity um, it's working pretty good. The fan is uh, still kicking along really nicely. You guys probably can't really see in there, but... <clears throat> um, it's it's rocking. <laughs> so, no issues with the fan. It's been working great for a month. Uh, actually probably longer than that now same with the inverter and I don't know if you can see it probably can't see it but we're at 14.6 volts on the solar for the shipping container and it is I don't know 94 degrees it looks like it's pretty good pretty good I'm happy with it so um, yeah, I don't know what happened with my, my GoPro. It just did something weird and I lost a, a pretty large portion of what I was talking about. I don't even remember what I was saying in that, that clip, but it ended up bringing me over here to uh, the solar panels. And uh, that's where we're gonna lead into the the next clip which is from uh, I think July 7th so we're gonna go from August 3rd we're gonna rewind back to July 7th okay my camera just did something it's never done before <laughs> it made this large beeping sound or loud beeping sound and then I didn't realize it but it was done recording and I went on to talk about a bunch of other stuff over here and uh, I went to shut it off and it, it would not shut off this thing would not turn off no matter what I did so I had to pull the battery on it weird um let's see where was i uh 
yeah i want to make sure i wire these correctly um i'm sure that charge controller can handle 1400 watts but I, i'm going to do some more research on it just to make sure uh just, just i don't want to mess it up sadie she got a boo-boo on her left front paw yesterday i think um she's got a little bit of a limp to her come here dog she's got a bit of a limp doesn't seem to be bothering her too much. Uh, I looked at her paw, I didn't see anything stuck in it. I thought maybe she might have had a thorn or something stuck in it, but I couldn't see anything. Um, she might have just twisted it when we were on our walk yesterday. But uh, I think she'll be all right. Okay, where was I? Let's see. Uh, yeah, all in all, just a great couple of days. Uh, I only came up here to do two things and that was to install vents sorry guys it's like super windy right now I'm trying to get i don't know this is gonna this ain't gonna help um <laughs> i wanted to install the vents and water the trees that was it you okay bubby dog she's gonna find some shade um look at this mulling it's just taking off it's uh grown a bit since we were here two weeks ago that's cool. Another little guy over here. I pulled the slide in because it's supposed to rain, I think, in about a week and a half, which is typical for this time of year. Um, but the reason why I pulled it in, well, shouldn't leave it out, but second, I've talked about it in the past. Uh, this side of the slide, the seal somewhere at the bottom, it leaks when we have a really heavy rain. Um, and it comes inside, it gets on the carpet, and anyways. As long as the slide's in, it's good to go. It doesn't leak. So. All right, guys. Uh, I got to get, get out of here. It's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit later than I wanted to be. So, all in all, been a good couple of days. Uh, a little warm, but it's to be expected. It's July. So, all right, you guys. Have a, have a great day. Um, have a great rest of your month. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.